Welcome to the Introduction to Blender course for beginners. This course will help you learn almost everything about Blender within a short amount of time. We'll cover everything starting from the interface and then we go deeper and look at 3D modeling, animation, lighting, rendering, video editing and so on. I've been a Blender user for nearly 5 years now. Over the course of those 5 years, I've learned so much about Blender and have made 4 animated short films, a few short webisodes and some 3D art using Blender. You can say I'm a bit of a Blender fanatic. I feel that I am now at a level where I can pass on this knowledge to you guys, so that one day you can make whatever you dreamt of making, whether it be games, movies, 3D art, rendering, simulations, animations and so on. Blender is no longer as difficult as navigating a rocket. It is possible to make high-end stuff using this open source software, which, quite frankly, not that many people know about yet. If you have the skill and talent, you can certainly create something that might blow not only your friends or your family, but also Pixar off their chairs. But let's not get too ahead of ourselves. Let's focus on the outcomes that you'll get from this course. You will learn nearly everything about Blender. Now I put nearly in italics since it isn't exactly possible to learn everything about Blender or you will pretty much be, be here for many years. On top of that, the Blender developers are really active. That means there's going to be tons and tons of new features added to Blender all the time. And of course, I will do my best to keep up and update this course accordingly. What I meant by nearly is that we'll learn the main stuff like 3D modeling, animation, lighting, rendering, compositing and so on. By the end of this course, you will know your way around the Blender interface. You will gain confidence in making whatever it is that you dreamt of making. Perhaps you want to make your very own animated movie, or you want to model 3D objects and sell those to some marketplace. Maybe you want to make virtual environments for virtual reality, or perhaps you want to make a game or create virtual simulations. These are all possible with Blender. Also, hopefully by the end of this course, you will gain a sense of control and mastery over Blender. In other words, you will start to feel like, I own this thing. This course is filled with lots of practice materials and assignments to help you with this. Finally, you will also become so comfortable with Blender that you will ditch all other 3D software. It has features that rival the ex most expensive 3D software, and best of all, it's all free. Okay, that probably sounds a little bit salesy. I swear I don't work for nor am I really affiliated with Blender in, in, in any way. It's just an honest opinion, that's all. Okay, so enough about me. Let's talk about you now. To be successful in this course, and with Blender as well of course, you will need to possess a couple of things. First of all, you don't need to know anything about Blender. Even if you've heard of Blender for the first time today, you will still benefit from this course. You don't need to know anything about 3D graphics either. You do however need a keen interest and motivation in 3D graphics. I mean, you don't really need it, but, but that might not really help motivate you to finish this course, or most importantly, have fun doing so. I'll assume the reason you enrolled is because you have at least some level of interest for 3D graphics. You will need patience, practice and persistence. So if you expect to finish this course with the mindset of making something better than Finding Nemo, for example, then this course may not really be for you. This course will only help you master Blender. You will only reach great artistic levels through patience, practice and persistence. So let's have a closer look at the topics that we will be covering throughout the entire course. First, we start by learning how to navigate the Blender interface. We then look at the properties window, which I'd like to call the heart or the core of Blender. We then learn some navigational controls in Blender, such as how to move stuff, rotate and zoom. We then cover 3D modeling basics and you will get the chance to work on some practice projects. We will also look at giving our 3D objects materials and textures. We cover lighting to help light up our 3D world. We then learn how to carve our objects if we can't model them well through these sculpting tools. We learn basic animation, as well as a particle system for creating hair, fur, rain, fireworks and so on. We look at the physics system in Blender to help us simulate real world physics. We also look at how to render and also get the best looking renders. After that you will learn how to use Blender as a video editor. And finally, you will learn about the compositor to make our renders pop. Once you've mastered these topics, you will have added confidence in creating whatever you want. 
it's only a matter of time before you can create something really epic. I hope you will enjoy this course and learn a lot. Please feel free to keep asking me questions throughout this course. I'll be more than happy to help. And that's pretty much all I have to say. As the Blender community regularly tells everyone, keep blending. Also subscribe to the YouTube channel or join the email list from my website. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.